DMC Sinai Grace Hospital now offers new hope for people with difficult-to-treat conditions of the spine. By utilizing the O-arm multidimensional imaging system, neurosurgeons can perform operations with unprecedented accuracy, leading to better outcomes for patients who may not have been candidates for more conventional procedures. I started having trouble of August of 2012. And they actually diagnosed it as a hip problem, but sent me to therapy and whatnot, and it didn't seem to get any better. Then they sent me to the pain clinic where they discovered it's really my spine, not my hip at all. So we went to our first doctor that I thought would be a very good person to do it, and they wouldn't touch her. I can barely do the stairs. I don't cook. I don't go to the basement to do laundry. Very boring life. I couldn't work, so I had to keep looking for somebody to, that would, you know, work on my back. The pain has gone over and caused her to lose her job. She's on long-term disability. It's been, to say it's been hell in my house for everybody uh, is just, that's an almost an understatement. At this point, we have been going through, hmm, I'd say almost nine months worth of trying to find a doctor who was willing to do her surgery. And finally, one of our friends went over and said, why don't you talk to Dr. Johnson out of Sinai Grace? You know, he's the you know, chief of neurosurgery over there. And I go, well, why not? We went over there, saw him in his office, and it was like, this is every day for him. He had no qualms. He said, I'm very sure that we can go over and do a great job for you. We can get you pain free. So I'm hoping that with this I can get back to doing my family things and go back to work and go out and do stuff that we used to do. I mean, we used to travel and stuff, but I can't do that very well right now. O-arm is primarily used for spine surgery. Uh, so we use it for the lumbar spine. We can use it for the thoracic spine. We can use it for the cervical spine or the neck. Uh, that allows us to place instrumentation in a much more safe fashion. Uh, some of the areas in the cervical spine that we do, uh, the areas that we're trying to place the instrumentation is extremely small, but because we have this technology and can place screws in those areas, it, it decreases the amount of uh, spine that we have to do a fusion on, so we, we help maintain people's uh, flexibility and maintain their normal spine motion by limiting the number of uh, movable segments that we have to actually include in the fusion. The, the conditions that we treat are mainly spine conditions. Uh, they can be fractures, they can be uh, if we have to take out tumors and, and, uh, re and, and fuse the spine, we can use it for that. Well, what we're going to be doing today on, on this lady is a lumbar laminectomy, which is removing the back part of the spine. Then we're going to use pedicle screws to help stabilize the spine, uh, which will allow us to uh, uh, have a more successful chance at getting a solid fusion, uh, which is laying bone down after we've got the instrumentation in. So in, in her case, we've done the, uh, the spin, so to speak, which is like a uh, CT scan in the operating room. And from that CT scan, we can generate images of her spine from the side, from the, uh, from the front, as well as uh, like, like slices, which this being her uh, belly, this being her back. And with that, we can then generate where we're going to place the screws. And this will take into account any of the scoliosis or abnormal placement of the bone in people who have got arthritis where the bones don't line up the way they would normally line up. So if one's twisted a little bit, we can take that into account with uh, this machine much easier than we can with the O-arm, much easier than we can take it into account with the C-arm. DMC Sinai Grace is one of the few hospitals in the area that uses the O-arm imaging system. Combined with our highly skilled surgeons, this technology allows us to provide state-of-the-art spinal procedures that give patients the opportunity to return to doing the things they love.